Hello, I'm Andrew Simpson with Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to update a Zoho creator record from another Zoho creator form. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen and hopefully this is the right screen. Otherwise, this is going to be a short video. Okay, so I have here, I have um, this form called a profile. And then I have this other form called an intake form. And the use case here is when I fill out this intake form, I wanna find the related profile and I wanna send, uh, I wanna update that related profile. So let me start by filling out this form. So I'm gonna say this is my name, Andrew Simpson, right? Let's just put in a number there. I'm gonna enter a valid phone number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it needs an area code. Okay, I'm gonna type in my email. If you want, this is what you can email me at. It's andrew at etherautomation.com. Most recent job, I don't know, I was a trucker, right? And the job date, uh, this was yesterday. I was a trucker yesterday. And so let's say that this is my profile, right? Um, uh, but what I wanna do is I wanna send out this intake form. And I want this intake form to update people's profiles. So every time I get a, a new job, I want to update my profile in this um, creator app. So what I want to do is say, anytime I type in, my name is still Andrew Simpson. My phone number is now 778, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't understand. Whatever. My email is still the same. Tell me why um, ain't nothing but a heart ache. Most recent job. So yesterday I was a trucker, but uh, let's say today I'm uh an antique collector um, and i did this job i did this job tomorrow so what i want to have happen is when i click submit i want my profile record to be updated so how would you do this let's start out i'm going to click edit this application in the top right and then i'm going to go to workflows and i'm going to create a workflow and this is going to be when a record is created on the intake form. And let's do on successful form submission. Let's say update related profile. Great workflow. We're going to click add new action and click deluge script. So now that we're on the page, we want to um, make some architecture. On, on, on our deluge, we want to make some architecture. So let's start out. And let's say search for existing profile um, in creator app. And then uh, we want to update existing profile. Profile, yeah, if exists exist creates new profile if uh, does not exist okay so first thing is you want to remember is Zoho creator deluge is similar but is not the same as uh, deluge in CRM or books or, or any of the other applications. So it just operates a little differently. So let's go, let's call this uh, potential profiles equals profile where, and 
go to refer fields profile this is a, a, a nice thing to to remember about creators that has this refer field stuff here so if email email equals input dot email so this input here means the form what the form the user filled out um uh, so let's do, add this. Uh, next thing is we want to uh, check if it exists. So if potential profile dot count of emails is equal to one then we could do some interesting stuff. Let's go potential profile uh, dot. And so again, if you're new to creator, um, the thing to know about Zoho creator is that it works in something called object oriented programming. It's a fancy way of saying, you know, we got the profile record, right? And rather than having to make a map like we do in CRM, we could do something like this, where it's this object. And for this object, I want to update the um, name. And in this case, there's a first name and last name. So let's go first name equals inputs dot name. So it's the input object name dot first name, right? And then I could do this for all the fields going the way down. So potential uh, dot name dot last name equals input dot name dot last name right potential we'll do this for a few other ones go phone number equals input dot phone number I'm actually just going to copy and paste this one paste and so now we're doing uh, maybe phone number we're doing email email uh job dates date of job completion uh intake form no more profile it is most recent job and then in the intake form it is most recent job Right. And so what this is going to do is it's going to say, hey, assuming we found one of these profiles, update all these fields with whatever's in the, the, the information. And then down here, we want to create one if it doesn't exist. So I'm going to go to import add record on the left hand side here and click profile and I'm just going to click insert. And again, this works the same way. So I'm just going to click name equals name dot last name equals input click copy i'm actually just going to paste this whole thing in here and then take out all of these little dots great and then I could save at line 21. I don't need these when they're in here. Save. So now when I submit, submit this, right? Let me actually refresh. Name Andrew Simpson, 111. One, 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 one. Why is it? Ain't nothing but a heart ache, most recent job, antique collector. Data job completion is tomorrow. When I submit this, and then I go to all profiles, it's updated and it's created one. So when we go back to our code, right, you'll see 
Um, I forgot to code in this equals zero. There you go, update. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to delete this one here. Let's just delete it and try this again. So my name is Andrew Simpson. My email is here because my most recent job, um, a bug terminator. And that happened today. And so now when I submit and go to the profiles, boom, I'm a bug terminator as of today. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Um, I'll see you in our next video.